Ever wondered why we can't know everything about the universe? It's not due to lack of trying, but rather a fundamental law of physics, the uncertainty principle. This principle, a cornerstone of quantum mechanics, puts a limit on how much we can know about the world around us. Picture a tiny particle like an electron. According to the uncertainty principle, we can't know both its exact position and momentum at the same time. The more precisely we measure one, the less precisely we can know the other. This isn't because of our measurement tools, it's a fundamental aspect of nature itself. The uncertainty principle was first formulated by Werner Heisenberg, a physicist whose name is as inextricably linked with quantum mechanics as Einstein's is with relativity. So, as intriguing as it sounds, the uncertainty principle is not a philosophical notion, but a concrete law that governs the world of the tiny. To understand the uncertainty principle, we first need to dip our toes into the strange world of quantum mechanics. Quantum mechanics is the branch of physics that deals with the tiniest particles in the universe, those that make up atoms and light. At this minute scale, things start to get a little weird. Unlike classical physics, which describes the world as we see and experience it, quantum mechanics paints a picture where particles can behave as both particles and waves. Yes, you heard that right. Particles like electrons and photons can act like tiny bullets, traveling in straight lines, or like ripples on a pond, spreading out and interfering with each other. This dual nature or wave-particle duality is just one of the bizarre concepts that quantum mechanics brings to the table. In this realm, particles behave in ways that defy our everyday logic, setting the stage for the uncertainty principle. Now that we have some background, let's dive into the uncertainty principle itself. This tenet of quantum mechanics, first proposed by Werner Heisenberg, is a rather curious one. It states that the more precisely we know the position of a particle, the less precisely we can know its momentum, and vice versa. To put this in simpler terms, imagine you're trying to take a photo of a hummingbird in flight. If you manage to snap a picture that freezes the bird in place, clearly showing its position, the blur of its wings will prevent you from determining their speed. On the other hand, if you take a picture that clearly captures the rapid movement of the wings, the bird's position becomes a blur. This is the heart of the uncertainty principle, a kind of trade-off in the quantum world. The more we know about one thing, the less we know about another. It's not because our measurements or instruments are flawed, but rather because of the inherent nature of the quantum world itself. Now you might be thinking, but why can't we just measure both position and momentum at the same time? Well, in the quantum world, mere observation affects the observed. In trying to measure both, we would inevitably alter one or the other. It's akin to trying to measure both the surface of a pond and the ripples created by a pebble simultaneously. The act of measuring the ripples disturbs the surface. This principle doesn't just apply to position and momentum. It's a fundamental aspect of quantum mechanics, underlying the behavior of particles at the smallest scales. It's a reflection of the strange and counterintuitive nature of the quantum realm where certainty gives way to probability and where the act of observing can change what is observed. In essence, the uncertainty principle tells us that there's a limit to what we can know about a particle's position and momentum at the same time. The uncertainty principle isn't just an abstract concept. It has real-world implications. One of the most profound implications is in the atomic world. You see, the uncertainty principle plays a critical role in determining the structure of atoms. It is the reason why we have orbitals, or regions around the nucleus, where electrons are most likely to be found, instead of precise orbits. But its reach doesn't stop at the microscopic level. The uncertainty principle has also been instrumental in the development of technologies we rely on daily. Medical imaging techniques like MRI scans and scientific tools like electron microscopes owe their existence to this principle. These technologies exploit the wave-particle duality of matter predicted by the uncertainty principle to generate detailed images. So, while the uncertainty principle might limit our knowledge, it also opens up fascinating possibilities. It's a reminder that even in the world of quantum mechanics, uncertainty can be a source of innovation and discovery. The uncertainty principle, as complex as it might seem, is a fundamental part of our universe. It is the very cornerstone that has shaped our understanding of quantum mechanics. It's the rule that tells us we can't know everything, not because we lack the tools or the intellect, but because the universe itself is fundamentally uncertain. This principle, birthed from the mind of Werner Heisenberg, is a key element in the fascinating world of quantum mechanics. 
that enigmatic realm where particles can be in two places at once and cats can be both alive and dead. Its implications stretch far beyond the microscopic world, influencing our understanding of the entire cosmos. The uncertainty principle challenges our intuition, but it also enriches it. It paints a picture of a universe that's not just a simple, predictable machine, but a dynamic, ever-changing tapestry of possibilities. It reminds us that even in a universe governed by laws, there's always a bit of mystery left to uncover.